program started because of the gap we found in the marketplace that NGOs or non-for-profit organizations are critical players in the sustainability space because many private sector companies actually make use of the services of NGOs to actualize their sustainability strategy. Unfortunately, we found a lot of uh, skills gap in these organizations in terms of the way they are run, not being very professional. One of the biggest issues is being able to run these businesses and have succession. And succession means getting young people into the space. So the program focuses on training people who are not more than 35 years so that their interests can be enkindled in this and also get them to become the future leaders in the social space. And in where we now, you also look at your environment. And in looking at your environment, we use what is called PESTA. So when you're looking at your environment, under this standard, we call it, so people call it PEST. You look at the political environment. How would it change? You look at economic and then you look at S, social cultural. What's going on? Are people's attitude changing? Before I came to LBS, we do a lot, but we're a little bit casual about how we do it because we have our daily jobs. So what we do is to commit the little extra time that we have. With the training I've gone through, I know that there's a lot more that I can do because the more structured and organized the charity is, the bigger the impact, and that's what we are after. The kind of feedback we've gotten so far shows that they have actually improved in terms of having good organizational structures and processes. Many of them now understand what's expected of them, how they can engage with better stakeholders, how they can render better service to the private sector and their partners. So prior to coming to um, the NPLM program in Lagos Business School last year, we one of the major problems we had was structure was a bit of problem because this was our first entrepreneurial experience. I'm a co-founder, I have a co-founder as well. And we had not really had um, this core knowledge of how corporate structure worked, especially for social enterprises. And coming down here, we could see how we could outrightly match uh, our focus on impact with our focus to be sustainable and make profit, and at the same time, create a good structure around that. I, I used to think like money was my challenge, you know, so if I could get there and learn how to write, um, grand, write for brands and, you know, and have more money, it would help. But then I came and it was like somebody was selling my story. Every facilitator who came was is as if they x-rayed me, they opened me up and they were showing my challenge. Like, this is what you're doing wrong. This is how you ought to do it. I want to say a big thank you to Ford Foundation for supporting this program and to Lagos Business School for the, the, the quality of the, the faculty they put together and even the content that we have been able to, to learn from. Uh, I'm sure that uh, going back to my organization, a whole lot of things is going to change. Uh, and, and I'm sure that this program will really, really bring about significant uh, transformation in the organization that I lead. The finest quote I've seen is that um, non-profits think like non-profits, that's the problem. And that really is the problem. So now I'm thinking with a business mind, I'm following my heart to do what my heart wants in, in terms of making people happy. But then there's a business aspect of it. So I'm um, transiting, we are transiting from an NGO to a social enterprise because if we look at it as a business, if we work towards a sustainable future, it will be to the advantage of both the beneficiaries and the donors. So sustainability is something that has been ringing in my mind since, since I came here. Mm -hmm.